This is Make a Mermaid 22 with another video, and this video is going to be a mermaid tail unboxing. Um, so first off, I lost the footage for my clownfish tail, so I'm going to show that to you. So here it is. Um, it's a little bit dirty. That's one thing I've noticed. Um, swimming in ponds and stuff like that, the white gets a little dirty, but it's a beautiful tail. I've swam in it twice or three times already in the pool and in the pond. It's a really pretty tail, but I got this in a small, and I think it was around 55 or it was 65, and I got free shipping. So this is a limited edition for the Finding Dory release, so you should check this out on the FinFun website, because it's limited edition, and also has this sparkle to it. An interesting sparkle-like fabric. As I said again, I lost the footage to it, so here it is. And it's an interesting sparkle-like material, but yeah, let me get into the rest of the unboxing. So I just received my package, and um, if you want, you can get free shipping. I'll put the code down below. You can also sign up by email to get free shipping. So here's my package, and I got two things, so I'll get into what I got. So here is what I got. First off, I got one of the mermaid petal tails in the adult size. And um, I got the purple and teal and blue and mint. So I got this for my college dorm room and I'll hopefully be doing a video on that soon. And again, I got this in an adult size. And it's all wrapped up right now. Very nicely. It's going to be very hard to wrap this up again. And as you can tell, I'm on vacation right now. Um, that's why I'm not in my normal filming setup. And I'll have to figure out something with college. So it's very soft. It looks very soft and comfortable. I'm so glad I got it. I can't wait to use it. One thing I've noticed, which I'm not too happy about, is the back is plain. I wish it was the scale fabric on both sides, but it's still super cute. And if you, you know, put it down that way, then you won't notice it. Or if you just want it to be the blue showing, that's great too. But it goes with my dorm under the sea theme, which I'm keeping up my under the sea theme in my dorm. And of course, I'll do a um, some dorm room videos and college videos and stuff. Okay. Oh, and it says, congratulations, Finn Fend. Welcome to the mermaid world. Okay, what is this? This is new. They haven't done anything like this before. Oh, this is so cute. So they gave you a little product catalog. This is all new. I just got this tail recently, and I didn't get anything with that um, about a month ago. So it shows you all the different products they have. Head wraps, um, dolls, the bathing suits, and of course the mermaid tails and monofins. So it's pretty cute to look through. Um, this is caring for your mermaid tail, which is very important to keep it in good shape. I prefer swimming in fresh water. Um, ponds and lakes because that's the easiest way to keep it in shape otherwise you just got to be careful with pool bottoms and in chlorinated and salt water it can get a little damaged um, and then the tail also comes with this the uh, cuddle tail which is cute um, next off you get a little certificate which is really cute it looks like it's on like fancy archaic paper it's got a little stamp the Royal Mer Council, so I'm officially a mermaid. 
It says, throughout our history, when merfolk have been seen by humans, there were attempts to capture us with nets and harpoons. But in recent decades, humans have seemed much more interested in learning about and exploring the sea. We've begun to see humans swimming in various oceans around the world, wearing what appear to be mermaid tails. This has led us to believe that despite our best efforts at remaining secret, not only do landfolk know of our existence, but you seem to be friendly towards us. Therefore, the kings and queens of the Seven Seas have recently held a Merc Council and after much debate, decided it is finally time to officially reveal ourselves to the human world. It is our hope that humans and Merc folk may begin to work together to keep the oceans and the land healthy and vibrant for all to enjoy. The Mermaidens of the Seven Seas have been chosen to represent their sea kingdoms and the ambassadors to the human world. You are invited to meet them at finfriends.com and become honorary finfriends. Merge. Well, I say I'm a real mermaid, so <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna become an honorary mermaid, a real mermaid. So that's kind of cute, though. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. I've just been running around. I just got the package and stuff. I ran outside to grab it and up and down the stairs a few times. <laughs> um, so here is my new tail. It is the Mariana Tidal Teal Tail, and I guess that's a reference to Mariana's Trench, which is the deepest part of the ocean. If you didn't know that, check out your uh, mermaid trivia. Oh, and in the little note, I also noticed some little stickers, which are cute. little sticker, and then you got little trading cards. Those are cute. And I got Crystal, which I have her tail, the um, Arctic, Arctic, Blue Arctic uh, tail. And this is Scarlet. She's kind of like the pirate princess, I guess. Those are cute little trading cards, I guess. If you keep getting things from them, you get more trading cards. So that's a nice little thing that they've included. So here again is some care and safety, which is very important for little mermaids to understand, and adult mermaids too. And you get another sticker, which is so cute. So here is the bag. I got this, um, I think it was around 65 and I got free shipping. And it's a size small, really cute. Here it is. Here is the fabric. I re recommend checking out the sizing um, and sizing down if possible because you want it to be really skin tight. Originally I have the medium Celtic green, but it's a little too big on me and I have to pin it or sew it a little smaller. And they both stretch over time. So here is the color. Showing up a little weird with the lighting I have, but it's this teal color, really pretty teal. And the bottom is really beautiful. It is this great shaded dark blue navy to teals, which is really pretty. The only thing I don't like is I wish it was also on the inside so you don't see this. I guess you could sew that up if you wanted, if you have one mono fin for it. That's really cute. The only thing I do not like is it has the little mermaidens insignia on it, which kind of breaks the whole thing of being a real mermaid, but so cute. And I'll be sure to swim in it. I'm right now in a place where I can do a lot of swimming, um, so I'm so excited. And I will definitely be posting a swimming video soon. This video is probably going to be unedited because I am again on vacation and I don't have any editing stuff with me. Hopefully I'll be getting a laptop soon for college, but right now I'm just filming this and it's kind of rambly and out of breath and stuff, but whatever. Yeah, here's one more look at it. And I recommend these um, for anyone starting out. These are great. The Fin Funds are really great. Yeah, really pretty. Celtic green is still my favorite, but it's very pretty. Um, one thing I noticed is they're getting a little bit bigger on the scales than the one I originally bought, which I do like the very fine scale print. And um, another thing is the fabric is slightly different, but it's a really beautiful tail. I'm excited to swim in it. Goodbye, my little mermaids. Thanks for watching. This is Makeup Mermaid 22. Comment, rate, subscribe, and leave any requests down below.